Hello, I'm Antonio Mora. This is the News and News.com Day in Brief. Today's top stories in four minutes. It's Wednesday, December 26th at about 6 p.m. Eastern Time. After receiving much criticism for not having visited American troops in a combat zone since becoming Commander-in-Chief, President Trump and the First Lady paid a surprise visit to military members in Iraq. There, Trump defended his surprise withdrawal from Syria and reiterated the message that the U.S. was not the policeman for the world. After having said last week that ISIS had been defeated, Today, he argued that Iraq can be used as a base to attack ISIS in Syria if needed. He was well received by the troops, but as he often does, he used the opportunity to push his political agenda. Santa came late for investors, but he came loaded with goodies on his sleigh. U.S. stock indexes skyrocketed today after the worst Christmas Eve ever. The Dow jumped by almost 1,100, that is its biggest point gain ever, and its largest percentage gain since 2009. The Dow and S&P 500 were up about 5%, while the NASDAQ gained almost 6 Retailers helped lead the way after holiday retail sales posted their strongest growth in six years. Tech stocks jumped too, with Amazon announcing a record-breaking season. Oil stocks rallied as well because oil prices, which had been heavily depressed in recent weeks, had a blockbuster day. The U.S. benchmark crude price soared by almost 9%. For the second time in a little more than two weeks, a migrant child has died in U.S. custody. Customs and Border Protection says the eight-year-old boy from Guatemala started feeling ill on the morning of the 24th, was twice taken to the hospital and treated, but died that night. CBP is now taking new precautions, redoing medical checkups on all migrant children in its custody and reviewing policies on caring for kids under 10. In a time where everything gets politicized, the little boy's death is already being used in the debate over the border wall. Negotiations over how to end the government shutdown are reportedly at a standstill and Trump has vowed that it will last until the wall is funded. Hamlet, also known as Joe Biden, is reportedly not happy that former President Trump, uh, excuse me, former President Obama has been talking to other Democrats who may run in 2020. Biden is flirting with the idea of running just as he went back and forth about it in 2016. Polls show he's the overwhelming favorite among the likely candidates, but Biden would be 78 on election day. Biden's spokesperson denied that he was upset but it didn't comment on how the former VP felt about Obama meeting with his potential opponents. In our alternate universe segment, The Great Divide Between Conservative and Liberal Media, the same networks who had a field day criticizing Trump for being the first president since 2002 to not visit the troops on Christmas Day are doing cartwheels to find reasons to negatively portray his visit to American troops in Iraq. Fox News, on the other hand, avoided the negative uh, that might have been involved in this trip, highlighting the importance of a U.S. president visiting the troops and trying to make the argument that American military forces in Iraq can pick up the slack for the American pullout from Syria. As usual, a fair assessment of the situation avoided both sides. We have all the stories and much more updated around the clock seven days a week on newsandnews.com where you will find all you need to know in one place. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the right of your screen just below this video. Please follow us on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, us on Facebook at Real News and News, and me on Twitter at Amora TV. I'll see you again tomorrow.